and welcome to Jamie DeRoy and Friends. I'm Jamie DeRoy. And I'm Barry Kleinbord. And this week we start off with a fun laugh romp musical, Gutenberg the Musical. And it's directed by Alex Timbers. And it stars Josh Gad and Andrew Reynolds, who first met doing the Book of Mormon. Right. The show is written by Anthony King and Scott Brown, and it's playing at the James Earl Jones Theater. Let's take a look. Now, what you're about to see tonight is what we call a reading of a musical. But what is a reading of a musical, Doug? Does it mean we're going to print out copies of the script so you can read it? No. 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 No, what it means is there's no set, no costumes, just a few props, and every light they would let us rent from Dance Party DJs of Newark.com. Also, there's no cast. Just me and Doug. That's right, we're gonna sing all the songs and play all the parts and give you some help to understand the potential of what we have written. I think the key word here is potential. I also like the word help. Now. There are an awful lot of characters in our show. How are we going to differentiate? Great question, Doug. Great question, Doug. By using these hats, seven, eight. My oh. God. Oh. Aren't they wow. beautiful? I mean, my God. Bud spent three days at the FedEx Kinko's. They thought I was insane. <laughs> but is this insane? Because when I wear this hat, I'm a boot black. And I'm... A woman. <laughs> yes, but only for tonight, because in an actual production, we would never cast a straight white man as a woman. No. Representation matters. Yes. <laughs> now, it's nice to live in medieval Germany, in the beautiful town of Schlimmer. Mm, we all get along in perfect harmony. I'm a beef fat trimmer. Hi! The beef comes in all white with fat. It leaves a good bit slimmer. We're just drunks coming home from the bar in the beautiful town of Schlimmer. When I got out of bed today, history was a lot more boring than I thought in a different way. Now the bird of inspiration soaring. Look at these hands. They're attached to a normal man, a normal man who probably changed your world. Tomorrow is tonight. It's our history and future fight. Tomorrow is tonight. Monk stands on an adjacent chimney surrounded by fire and fast. Today I kill the future. Now my badness knows no bounds. My plan unfurled to trick that girl. Now the bird of inspiration's on the ground. Spat, ha! I crushed his dreams. You don't change the world with a dumb machine. At least not while this monk is still in town. Tomorrow is tonight. It's a history and future fight. Tomorrow is tonight. Helvetica is also... The revival of Spamalot has just opened on Broadway. It comes direct from the Kennedy Center. It's directed and choreographed by Josh Rhodes and playing at the St. James Theatre. The book and lyrics are by Eric Idle, and the music is by John Dupre and Eric Idle, and it's based on the famous movie Monty Python and the Holy Grail. And it is so much fun. The cast includes Christopher Fitzgerald, James Monroe Eigelhart, Leslie Rodriguez Kritzer, Taryn Killam, Ethan Slater, Michael Urey, Jimmy Smagula, and Nick Walker.
Rex, I Need That has been extended through December 30th at the American Airlines Theater, presented by The Roundabout. It's directed by Moritz von Stolpnagel, and it stars Danny DeVito, Lucy DeVito, and Ray Anthony Thomas. It was such a treat to see Danny DeVito back on stage again. He's wonderful. And for the first time, with his own daughter, Lucy DeVito. You can't just throw out everything. His teeth is somewhere in this room. <laughs> well, I didn't know she was coming today. I just got up, honey. I'm nude. No, you stay in here with your head in the sand. I'm an American. It's my right. And you have to figure out what you want to keep and what you can let go. This is Carrie. The end of Carrie. It's two o'clock in the morning. She's a good girl. A little high strung. Television, what a disappointment. At the Helen Hayes Theater is the play Appropriate by Brandon Jacobs Jenkins, directed by Lila Neugenbauer. And it stars Sarah Paulson. Also in the cast are Corey Stoll and Elle Fanning. It's playing at Second Stages Theater, the Helen Hayes, through February 11th. And now for a look at Off-Broadway. Manhattan Theater Club presents Poor Yellow Rednecks, playing at City Center's Stage One, and it's extended through December 3rd. It's written by Keen Goyan and it's directed by May Adralis. Here are some scenes from Poor Yellow Rednecks. We're gonna thrive in this foreign land, but today we're gonna do whatever we can to create a place where we both can stand, defying all the haters who say that we can. I'm climbing these ladders, adapting through disasters. No money in my pocket, but I'm rich where it matters. Won't stop till we won, son. Swinging for that home run, like the song says in the print. We get the job done. Poor yellow rednecks need to man respect. Ain't got a lot of money, but we're still damn perfect. Rise up, son, listen to our reason. We're crying the numbers while the rest of them are sleeping. Poor yellow rednecks need to man We demand respect, ain't got a lot of money, but we still damn perfect. Rise up, son, listen to our reason. We're climbing the mountains while the rest of them are sleeping. Do not look at me like that. Like what? Like you are a hungry cartoon wolf and I'm an animated turkey leg. <laughs> I'm not looking at you like nothing. Please, I have been with you for five years. Trust me, I know that look. Well, it ain't my fault you look good tonight. You're stupid. I don't look good. <laughs> I mean, look at that t-shirt. No one fills out a t-shirt as well as you. Um, I think I just dropped something. My jaw. <laughs> and those jeans. What are these made out of? Is that, is that beaver? Because, damn. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> and there's that smile. That's the best smile I've ever witnessed. That smile could make any bad day seem good. Can you stop throwing lines at me? That last one's not a line. Bobby! Hey. Oh, good. I need <laughs> It's been a long time. Yes, big long time. Sorry, me Vietnamese is rust bucket. Long time since using it. No, it's better than what I remember. How are you doing? Me doing pancake. Uh, uh, Pavarotti. Perfect. Me doing perfect. That, that sounds great. You look good. You lost weight. <laughs> me work out. Mm. Jazzercise. Cool. Yeah. It, um, you know. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what are we doing? You're gonna know, keep dancing. That's a totally normal thing to do in a restaurant. Okay. Oh, what are you doing? What? Now we don't dance no more? <laughs> we should do the table. <laughs> Classic Stage Company presents a revival of I Can Get It For You Wholesale. Right, this Broadway musical appeared in 1962. It has music and lyrics by Harold Rome and a book by Jerome Weidman. This version has been newly adapted by Weidman's son, John Weidman. It's directed by Trip Coleman. And in the cast, we have Santino Fontana and Judy Kuhn. 
Down at the Vineyard Theater, very exciting two-time Academy Award winner Diane Wiest stars in Scene Partners. A new play by John J. Caswell Jr., directed by Rachel Chavkin. Also in the cast are Josh Hamilton and Joanna Day. And it's extended till December 17th. The Abington Theater Off-Broadway has a new play by Elizabeth Copland, directed by Chad Austin, called Till Death. It stars Judy Kay and Robert Guccioli. It's been extended through December 23rd, playing on Theater Row. At the Actors Temple, making her stage debut, Sean Young stars in Ode to the Wasp Woman. It's written and directed by Ryder McDowell, and it's called Ode to the Wasp Woman because Sean Young plays Susan Cabot, who was a B-movie actress who starred in a movie called Wasp Woman, which I remember seeing when it first came out. Well, it's about the end of many of these B-movie stars, and all of them met a horrible ending. Unfortunate endings, yes. It makes you want to never be a B-movie star. Or a C or D. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look. Guess who I saw at the Tex Gardens Center today? Frank Flournoy, your buddy from 10th grade. Oh my God, has he blossomed? You know, I didn't even recognize him. I was looking at the geraniums and then I, I see this tall, broad-shouldered guy and he's eyeing me. And I'm thinking, I'm a little old for you, Sonny. And then all of a sudden he spits out in this deep voice, Hello, Miss Cabot, it's Frank Flournoy. I can tell you, I nearly fainted. I mean, he has charisma, this young man. He could go all the way up at Tux. Say, you're not waiting for the stars of the Little Rascals public appearance at Ralph's? Uh, no, I'm waiting for my husband. Uh, darn. All right. I was hired to be here for that. Got postponed, apparently. Anyway. Time to change agents. Being famous isn't all it's cracked up to be, I'll tell you that for free. Were you one of the little rascals? Yeah. In fact, I was. I played Alfalfa. Carl Schweitzer. Really? Alfalfa? That's incredible. You've changed. Well, well it's been a while. Yeah. Second Stage presents at their Tony Kaiser Theater, Spain, through December 18th. It's a new play by Jen Silverman, and it's directed by Tyne Raffaelli. And it stars Marin Ireland and Zachary James. Shows don't normally start at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, but that is where I saw Gavin Creel's show. It's called Walk On Through, Confessions of a Museum Novice. It has book, music, and lyrics by Gavin Creel, who also appears in the show. And it's directed by Linda Goodrich. And I think it brings a new definition to the term museum piece, don't you think? Absolutely. It's now playing at the MCC Theater and has been extended already through January 7th. I first saw Rachel Bloom, Death Let Me Do My Show, down at the Lucille Lortel Theater. It's directed by Seth Barish. I love all of his shows. It's now at the Orpheum Theater from December 7th to January 6th. New York Rep is now showing War Words by Michelle Colos Brooks, directed by Sarah Norris. It's playing through December 17th at ART Theater. War Words is based on true stories of soldiers who went to Iraq and Afghanistan, and it talks about the ones who returned and also the ones that didn't. I got to see a brand new play called Make Me Gorgeous. I had no idea what it was about or who it was. Wade McCollum is the star and he is fantastic. It plays at Playhouse 46 at St. Luke's Theater. It's the story of Kenneth Marlowe, who had quite a life. He was a, a, a hairdresser and a female impersonator and a madam, they called him Mr. Madam. He arranged all these call boys out in Hollywood. And in the last 10 years of his life, he had a sex change and became a woman. And uh, the, it's a one-man show written and directed by Donald Donnie Horn. $8,000. I mean, where was I going to find that kind of money? 
$8,000, that and buy a new wardrobe? <laughs> so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go for broke. I'm gonna hold a fundraiser, yeah. I'll invite all of those homosexual friends and allies. And I'll charge $5 a head, and, well, that'll about basically cover it. But what will I call the party? Because you know what? Names, they're important. I know, I'll call it the ball to end all balls. <laughs> <laughs> Stars up above dressing our love in a sparkling gown. It's the largest in town where we can be boys and we can be girls. We can wear time in. And we can wear short hair, long tresses, trousers, long dresses. We powder and paint. You think we are what we are? Shop of Horrors has just celebrated 1,000 plus performances at the West Side Theater. The book and lyrics for the show are written by Howard Ashman and the music of course is by Alan Menken based on the famous Roger Corman movie from 1960. And it's currently starring Constance Wu and Corbin Blue. And Bryce Pinkham and Brad Oscar. Downtown where the folks are broke. Now for the Cabaret Roundup. At 54 Below, Brandon Victor Dixon, the soul of Broadway, brings his show to the club on December 4th. I'll be here. I'll be here. I'll be standing by, trying to comfort, hoping I am enough. I'll be flying high, crying myself into happiness I have never known, a life I thought I'd never own. Maybe I've been dreaming and this moment isn't real. How else can I explain this power that I feel? You can
Christine Ebersol with Billy Stritch presents I'll Be Home for Christmas from December 12th to the 17th. Cassie Levy kicks off the cabaret series for Out of the Box Theatricals on December 13th. Vince Giordano and the Nighthawks play every Monday and Tuesday at Birdland Theater. Violinist Edmund Bagnell brings his show Home for the Holidays to Birdland on December 7th. <laughs> Mr. Kringle is soon gonna jingle The bells that'll tingle all your troubles away Everybody's waiting for the man with a bag Cause Christmas is coming again He's got a sleigh full, it's not gonna stay full He's got stuff to drop at every stop of the way Everybody's waiting for the man with a bag Cause Christmas is coming again He'll be here to the prayers you made for the year You'll get yours If you've done everything you should Extra special good He'll make this December The one you'll remember The best and the merriest you ever did have Everybody's waiting for the man with a bag Christmas is here again At Chelsea Table and Stage Jason Kravitz brings his show to the club December 21st. The Metropolitan Opera is celebrating Stephen Schwartz's 75th birthday on December 11th. It's an all-star cast. Included that night are Shoshana Bean, Kristen Chenoweth, Raul Esparza, Sutton Foster, Lindsay Mendez, Leslie Odom Jr., Ben Platt, Paolo Jot, Janine Tesori, and Trisha Yearwood. The 92nd Street Y Lyrics and Lyrics series continues on December 2nd, 3rd, and 4th with in the key of life, the genius of Stevie Wonder. Darius de Haas has conceived, written, and performed the evening. It's directed by Kenneth L. Roberson and features Richard Baskin and Helen White. The Museum of Broadway has just celebrated its first anniversary. It now has a special exhibit of the costumes of six. You're going to want to pay a visit to the museum. It is so much fun to go through. Give yourselves a couple of hours. But here is a look at the musical Six, playing at the Lena Horn Theater and going so strong. Divorced, beheaded, died. died. Divorced, beheaded, survived. New York City, we Listen up, let me tell you a story. Welcome to the show. our show this week, we want to congratulate the Revival of Chicago for playing 27 years on Broadway at the Ambassador Theater. This is the longest running American musical in the history of Broadway, and it's remarkable because it is a revival um, of a wonderful show. Music by John Kander, lyrics by Fred Ebb, book by Fred Ebb and Bob Fosse, and directed by Walter Bobby and choreographed by the late, great Anne Reinking. Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to see the story of murder, greed, corruption, violence, exploitation, adultery, and treachery. All the things we hold near and dear to our hearts. 
Jazz. 